Hello, my name is Mahendra Bhagavan, and today we're going to talk about the Eldred vs. Ashcroft case. Eldred was the pro public domain who wanted the law to be stopped. However, Ashcroft was the attorney general pro Disney who wanted the law to pass. According to Section 8, Clause 8, stated in the Constitution, the Congress should have power to promote the progress of science and useful art by securing for limited time the, to authors and inventors the exclusive right to their respective writing and discoveries. However, since 1990, the Walt Disney Company had support for the copyright ex extension. The legislation delayed the entry into the public domain of the early Mickey Mouse movie, leading distract distractors to the nickname the Mickey Mouse Protection Act. Other parties, such as Favors acted. Uh, favors the act were Time Warner, Universal, the major professional sports, and even NFL, NBA, NHL, and and MLB. The Sony Bono Copyright Term Extension Act extended existing copyright terms by an additional 20 years. The law affected both and new existing works. Specifically, for work published before January 1, 1978 and still in copyright on October 27, 1998, the term was extended to 95 years. For, work, for works authored by individual on after January 1, 1978, in, including new works, the copyright terms was extended to equal the life of the author plus 70 years. There were also some sympathetic to re re restaurants and bars owners who were upset over licensing practices who almost detrailed the act. The result in the bill was amended to include Fairness in Music License Act, which exempt smaller establishments from needing a public per performance license to play music. During the late 20th, early 21st century, the Copyright Act complaints of the Eldred v. Ashcroft was filed in the United States District Attorney Court, District of Columbia on January 11, 1999. On October 28, 1999, Judge June Green issued a brief opinion rejecting all the three the petitioners. Judge June Green issued a brief opinion rejecting all three of the petitioner argue, arguments. Planifs argued that by reading this formulation so as to allow for a number ex extension, extension, Congress could offer guaranteed practice of ultimate period of copyright protection. Congress also could extend copyright a lot of times and intentionally keep work out of the public domain. The doctrine of public trust requires the government to show public benefit to any transfer of public property into private hands and the CTEA violates the doctrine by withdrawing materials from the public domain into the private sector. Thus this case ended in January 15, 2003. There is two main essential questions that the courts had, courts had to decide upon. That was, does the 1998 Copyright Term Extension Act, hereby referred to as CTEA, CETA, extension of co existing copyrights exceed the Congress's power under the Copyright Clause? In other, more simple words, are they allowed to do this? And, does the CTEA's extension of existing and future copyrights violate the First Amendment? Basically, they extended previous copyrights that people were already banking on going into public domain, so a lot of people lost money. These, uh, these people formed a group, and at the head of them was Eldred. In the 1998 Copyright Terms Extension Act, C CTA, Congress enlarged the duration of copyrights. Petitioners whose products or services built on copyrighted works have 
entered the public domain, argued that the CTA violates both the Copyright Clause limited times and the First Amendment's free speech guarantee. They claimed that Congress could not extend the copyright term for published works with existing copyrights. The District Court in the District of Columbia disagreed. They then went on to Supreme Court. In a 7-2 vote, the court held that Congress acted with its authority and did not transgress on placing existing and future copyrights. The two justices that disagreed state that this would have been perpetual copyright and that they thought that this was not okay. The reason they arrived at the decision is because of Congress's power under the Copyright Clause of the U.S. Constitution. The court held that the CTA's extension of the existing and future copyrights does not violate the First Amendment. Justices John Paul Stevens and Stephen G. Breyer dissented, arguing that the CTA amounted to grant a perpetual copyright and undermine public interests. Perpetual copyright hurts society at large. Society and its constituents aka the people, can use public domain works to create new works that help everyone. These works can, can be music, video, TV, or even something like scientist stuff, like generic drugs, or if people have stuff in the public domain that um, private that they aren't using, people that can use it for different ways. Like, if I wanted to create something using a system that was born made in the 90s, I can't do that. I have to wait until it's in the public domain or, look pay or risk paying those people a majority of my profits. That is why a lot of people are fighting for public domain t to be bigger. And that's why they currently cannot extend the public domain as they have in, in the past. The, these copyrights, the stuff that was supposed to go in copyright a while ago, is now starting to go in copyright, including the Mickey Mouse cartoon, which is a major source of contention for why Congress put it into uh, private use, and the Disney Corporation, why they lobbied so hard. That is all. Thank you.